So we are playing around with the life cycle of a fly. The fly will lay the eggs, the eggs will hatch into the larvae, the larvae will now further grow into the pupa. Every step here gives us what we're actually doing. Now, how do we do this? It all starts from the market. What you will see here at our recycling plant is the second process. Since we don't have a waste separation system, we begin with sorting off the organic waste in the markets so that we can attain high purity and we are very sure that what we get is what we're actually going to use in our production line. Once this waste is delivered, as you have actually looked at it, it is going to be processed using the new lines of machines that we have actually attained, making it a pest and then stored into the drums so as to ferment. In the process of fermenting, we are already cutting off the oxygen, initiating anaerobic respiration and eliminating some of the pathogens that would not actually work without oxygen. We shall leave it for just a period of three to four days to one week and then take it into the mixing. In the mixing, we are looking at getting a uniform composition that is going to be used as feed for the larvae. In the feeding, we are going to use 90 to 95% organic waste, as you see. And then, after it is thoroughly mixed very well, we now input it into the crates at a consistent depth. At this plant, we actually do the production of just two stages. We have the larvae and the pupa. In our breeding site, we automize the process so that we can attain a high output from every cage. So, on a daily basis, we take the pupa to Namave, where we have our breeding center, into the automated greenhouse. In the automated greenhouse, we are looking at obtaining a constant and optimum temperature, optimum humidity, and optimum light. When we have all these parameters, then we can guarantee a high egg output. When the eggs are obtained, they are going to be put into the automated incubator so that we obtain every, every, every egg has to hatch into a baby larvae. The baby larvae will only stay for five days and then we bring them to this site. Now, it's the baby larvae that we shall input onto the crate to do the recycling of the organic waste. The baby larvae are very small and they will grow 30 times their initial body size. Feasting on this organic waste that is input into the crate, it will take only seven days for this organic waste to be actually fully utilized by the larvae. The larvae will grow 30 times their initial body size. Then they will take in the feed, being broken down by the enzymes, and they pass out a poo. Now, the poo is a byproduct. Now the larvae will be taken actually to process and then we further get the products that we should sell onto the market.